Let's see how you like this. Just open, damn it! I'm running out of patience. Have you finally acquired the mutant took out a brain, or should I send someone else? I got what you wanted. <sighs> ha! Wonderful. Let me see it. Remember those who aided your research, my lord. When I bestow my wisdom to the entire Empire, you will share some minuscule fraction of my glory. You've done me a great service, but now I must continue my research. If there's nothing else? Melora asked me to sabotage your experiment. Is that so? Melora, if you can't show my work the appreciation it deserves, 
There's no place for you as my apprentice. Wait, Master. It's a lie. I haven't betrayed you. I know the truth when I hear it, Melora. I'm releasing you from my service. Eventually. <laughs> Master! Please! Stop! <laughs> my dear, the pain for you is only beginning. Take your reward and leave. Melora and I have much to discuss. Sounds like you need some help. I appreciate your kind offer, but I prefer to handle this myself. Farewell. service, my lord. Money's always good here. Come again. See anything you like? Come again. You better not be wasting my time, slave. You better have the holocron. Hmm. A fake. Or stolen from the library, probably. I'll deal with you later. Now, I believe it's time for another demonstration. Gur, step forward. Yes, Overseer. Fon, kill him. With pleasure, Overseer. <gasps> Let Gur be an example to you. Fon destroyed him easily, like he will destroy all of you. Are there any other objections? You are only giving us power, Harkon. And your comments are only hastening your death, slave. Now the rest of you know the next trial. Go. You, slave, stay here. Now, slave, you think yourself pretty clever getting that holocron, don't you? Stop with your taunts and give me my next trial. 
If you wish to prolong your life, you will not make demands of me again, slave. Now for your trial. The last, darkest secrets of Tulak Horde are buried in his tomb. Lord Zash wants this text. But the final resting place of the dead lord is not easily trespassed. You will not be the first to die there. Yes, I get it already. You send me into a tomb to do the impossible, hoping I die, and I come back and prove you wrong. Shut up, slave. I've had about enough of your mockery. Do not come back here until you've gotten the text from Tulak Horde's tomb. Out of my sight, slave. What dark secret shall I share with you? Be gone. I have need of you, young one. Whatever errand your master sent you on can wait until we are through. As you say, I am Inquisitor Urinth, and I represent the intelligence operations of the Sith. We are currently holding an important Jedi prisoner, a spy who attempted to reach this academy. We have plans for him. Upon capture, we found the Jedi's mind simple to manipulate. We fed him false memories through a combination of drugs and sorcery. Soon he will return to his Jedi commanders and report the lies we fed him. He will know nothing of what we've done. All that remains is to stage his escape. And once he's free, what will he tell the Jedi? What did you plant on him? Information that should encourage certain Outer Rim colonies to reduce their defenses. Once that happens, we can arrange the destruction of those colonies and their Jedi defenders. You are young enough, new enough, to be a plausible traitor. You will go to the Jedi, talk to him, do as he asks earn his trust. When that is done, set him free. Do whatever is necessary to get him out of prison. We will ensure that he reaches his ship and returns safely to his Jedi friends. Consider it done. You will find the Jedi Quarry and Dorgis in the jail cells. He is still confused and should not be overly difficult to convince. So, yet another acolyte stands in the shadow of our academy. You must consider yourself privileged. Tell me, you who would be Sith, have you seen much of our civilization so far? Have you been awed by this world's power and glory? Indeed I have. 
Korriban is most inspiring, my lord. You find it so? Then you should understand something. Korriban was wrought by the true-blooded Sith millennia ago. Our ancestors, a crimson race of conquerors, raised the statues around us. Over the eons, however, our people mingled with slaves. Now the red markings of true Sith are rare, and the purity of this planet is in question. You're mingling with a former slave right now. Is that so? This is a sad day, but you may yet be useful. True purity and strength are carried in the blood. I worry that our blood is being diluted over generations. In the Emperor's name, I have come to learn whether the Academy's overseers are Sith or not. You will be my instrument. It would be an honor. It is a glorious opportunity. I possess an ancient device, a holocron, that can read and record bloodline. Allow the holocron to fulfill its purpose. Stand near the overseers as it attunes to their blood purity. Then return here, and I will learn the truth. There's no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. The Jedi Code will guide me. I take it you're the Jedi who was captured? I'm Corian Dorjus. I'm a Jedi. Even here. Even on Korriban. Why do you care? Why are you here? I'm here to get you home. If you play your cards right. And I'm to trust you, the word of a Sith. I don't understand. You're here to help me. Why am I talking in circles? What's wrong with me? The Inquisitors are messing with your mind. They pumped you full of drugs. I suspected as much. It's so hard to think straight. There's no passion. There's serenity. There's no chaos. There's harmony. The Jedi Code will guide me. I can focus. If you want to help me escape, I'll need my belongings, my lightsaber, my comlink. Before I was captured, the Sith chased me into the tomb of Tulak Horde. I hid my belongings inside an urn to lighten my load. That is where you'll need to go. Not you. Not yet. You are not ready for my test.
You did well executing the traitors. Your loyalty to our Emperor is without question.
medical attention. Be well. Please use all products only as intended.
products only as intended. Do you require medical attention? Be well. Please use all products only as intended. Be well. Step forward. I assume you've completed my task. I will take the holocron now. It is time we judge the purity of your overseer's blood. Time we know how much of the ancients survive in their veins. What does it matter? The ancient Sith are dead. It matters because the ancient Sith are the source of our power. They are everything we are. The holocron, it glows white. So little Sith blood in all of the Academy, and only one of the Overseers wears the red marks. This is shameful. I will bring this to the attention of the Dark Council. Measures must be taken if the true Sith are to survive. What's your plan? I'll advise purges and enslavement of those with the thinnest blood, and uplift the pure. It will be the Dark Council's decision, however. You have served well. It is too late for me to alter your training. But in the future, perhaps acolytes will kneel at the feet of the pure-blooded.
I know you. We talked before. My head's clearer now, Sith. It's all here. The comlink. My lightsaber. Everything I hid. You're going through with it. With all this, I... Once the guards change shifts, I think I can slip out of the academy. But what about you? Will you be okay? Me? I'll be fine. I'm more worried about you. That's very kind of you, Sith. I still don't understand why you're doing this, but I thank you. It's a trap. Your memories were altered. When you report back to the Jedi, you'll tell them exactly what the Sith want you to. What? Then that explains why you would help me out, at least, but not why you would tell me the truth. It isn't important now, but I will speak to my masters of this. For the moment, I should go. I'm... I'm sorry the Empire took you in, instead of the Jedi. If things had been different, maybe you could have been part of the Order. So the Jedi is preparing his escape. You did well. Not perfectly, but I have confidence the operation will succeed. Our business is concluded. I will make note of your assistance in my report. My duty is my life. As it should be. Take these tokens as payment for your service, and know that no Jedi can threaten Korriban. Now go. Remarkable. Magnificent. You. You slave. What? No. Acolyte. You're the one who brought me this magnificent holocron from the tomb of Marco Ragnos, yes? Is there something wrong? Unbelievable. One thousand years buried in that tomb. The Sith lords passing it by. And then the most unlikely person comes along. Tell me, how did you manage it? I shot lightning at it, and it opened. Such a simple solution. Why did none of us think of that? We must have thought too deeply on it. 
believed too strongly that it could not be done. Or perhaps we were simply not meant to open it. Your work so far in bringing back this holocron and now the text from Tulak Hold's tomb has me intrigued. I am watching your progress eagerly. I have high hopes for you, Acolyte. Sky high. Really? Harkon seems to favor Fawn. Harkon's only purpose is to weed out the weak. Beyond that, his opinion means nothing. Good luck, Acolyte. Good luck. I was just about to send Fawn off. What delayed you, slave? Well, first Lord Zash stopped me to tell me how amazing I am, and then we got talking, and I guess I lost track of time. Just like a slave to make up stories. Lord Zash would crush you like a gizka if you ever crossed her path. You're not worthy of her presence. Now, did you collect the text from Tulak Horde's tomb? Of course. As always, I'm brilliant. Give it here. No doubt it's been badly damaged. It's what we get for sending a careless lowlife to do a Sith job. Isn't that right, Fawn? What are we waiting for, Overseer? Why don't we kill this wretch now? You have a big mouth, slave, but no combat skills. I don't want to see you again until you've satisfied the Korriban instructors. The training facility is on the second floor of the Academy and is usually reserved for the Dark Lords and their apprentices. This is not a promotion, and you are not to speak to anyone except the training master when you are up there, understand? You are not fit for their presence. Please tell me Fawn can come. We'll have so much fun. Fawn has been training at combat his whole life. He was born to be Sith. You are just as likely to chop your own arm off as not, slave. Now get going to the second floor training grounds. You don't want to keep the instructors waiting. Hello there, friend. You remember my brother and me from downstairs? With Harkon, right? Sorry it had to be this way. We don't like it any more than you do. Well, maybe a little more. Now, now. You really don't know whether I like this or not. I'm sorry, girl. I liked you. I really did. But Harkon made us a deal, see? We kill you, we go home. You will regret that. We don't want to. But we know we can't beat Fon, and we'll never be Sith. At least this way we can go home, alive. Quiet, Balak. The time for talk is past. Fight for your life, Acolyte.
Well, well. Look who shows up at long last. I half expected to hear you'd crossed some dark lord upstairs and finally got yourself killed. None of the others have shown up either. I assume they're dead by now, which means you and Fawn are the last ones. Speaking of Fawn, he seems conspicuously absent. You only wish it, slave. No. You took so long returning, I sent Fawn ahead. Your final trial will be to retrieve an ancient map from the innermost chamber of Naga Sado's tomb, which has never been breached in thousands of years. But before you get the map, you'll have to awaken an ancient assassin called a Dashard that sleeps in the tomb. You cannot access the map without him, understand? I think I can do that much. Oh, and one more thing. You'll be competing with Fon for this map. Whoever brings it back will be Lord Zash's apprentice. The other will die. And Fon's already started, so my advice? Run, slave. Run. Um, one moment, please. Lord Zash, what are you doing here? Overseer, are you implying that I, a Lord of the Sith, don't have the right to go where I please within the Academy of the Sith? No, of course not, Lord Zash. Good. I saw the last Acolyte arrive. I wanted to see the hopefuls off on their final trial. Where's, um, what's his, the red one, Fawn? He finished his trial early, so I sent him on rather than keeping him waiting for this. Pity. I just finished translating the wonderful text this acolyte brought from Tulak Hord's tomb, and it's most illuminating. I don't know that the map can be retrieved without it. Well, well, well. It's a good thing I didn't start running, isn't it, Harkon? It's too late. Fawn's already left. You can't just... W give one acolyte an unfair advantage over the other? Overseer, when has being Sith ever been about being fair? Now, my dear Acolyte, here is what you must do to free the Deshard. There are rods scattered throughout the tomb of Nagasado. These rods are the keys to the chamber where the ancient assassin is imprisoned. You will need to place the rods in the chamber door and electrify them. I don't know exactly the reason, but it is clear that you will not be able to retrieve the map without the Deshard. But be careful, he is very dangerous. I have yet to meet a danger I can't defeat. I will return when both acolytes are back from the tomb. You will not do anything further to affect the outcome of the trial. Understood? Yes, Lord Zash. Good. And good luck, acolyte. 